Hey, it's your boy, the dude, man. I'm back at it once more again here on this Friday, September the 15th, 2023, with another, you guessed it, herb 2.2 gram cart review. This time is the Mango Kush Delta 9 THCO plus live resin. Let's get into it. Um, I did put some pictures of the package. Uh, I'm going to put that beforehand uh, so you can you can read the package if you want to. Um, you can you can scan the COA or you can scan it now to find out what the fuck is in your stash, man. Because yes, that's correct. That's one of the things that Herb provides is a COA um, to let you know what's in your 2018. Farm Bill compliant 2.2 gram live resin herb mango kush hybrid cart. And uh, as always, man, herb man uh, delivers with the packaging. Um, this is the uh, THC O line. Um, if I'm not mistaken, um, do your homework. As always, um, I believe the THC O is more of a psychoactive component. Uh, uh, all THC is, but do your research, man, because really the point of these reviews is not to get into fucking Bill Nye, the science guy's fucking job, or the dude, Neil deGrasse, whoever. Call those motherfuckers, man, and find out from them all the fucking scientific details of this shit, bro. I'm here to fucking get high, man, on some fucking herb. Let's be honest, bro. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Who in the room is not here to get fucking faded, bro? Fair enough. So, um, the THCO, man, do your research. Um, there's so many different types of THC. Um, I can tell you this, man. Herb, man, is amazing. Um, I had the Sour Joker THCO cart so far, and I have had the Blue Watermelon. Um, I believe the Sour Joker is a Sativa, and I believe the Blue Watermelon is an Indica. Don't misquote me. Fucking do your homework, man. I can't look this shit up right now because I don't have a laptop and I'm using my phone to record this this shit, all right? But I can tell you my experiences with those carts have been superb, as always. Uh, flavor profiles are great. Um, so let's, uh, let's crack this bad boy open and see what it's all about. Um, I like the, like the purple and, and green like motif kind of, you know? All their lineups are amazing. Shit, bro. Um, I, to me, the liquid batter is more of a, like a carnival lineup. Fun. Uh, the THC, Saucy THC Diamonds is fucking superb, sublime. Gets you where you need to be. Uh, there's so many different ones. I, I'm gonna try as many carts as I can, man. As many as they'll allow me. And uh, hey, man, if somebody wants to sponsor me, let's do this. Uh, if you own a smoke shop, if you own a small business, if you uh, if you work for Herb, you heard me. Let's get that care package in the mail to the dude. Email me, Jerf, J-E-R-F, D-E-R-F, D as -E 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 in dude, F as in Frank, Jerf, Derf at gmail.com. Let's uh, let's work something out, man. I would love, I could do a product review every day, twice a day. Help me help you, because I'm here for the people, man. So, oh. let's get into it here. Herb, sour, I keep wanting to say sour mango kush. It's mango kush, mango kush. Look at that. Boom, look at that. The live oleo resin, bro. You can like, you can see amazing things through there, man. You can see the future through that resin, bro. I'm just saying, homie. Got the little, got the little bumper pad there, little <laughs> digital editing, man, at its finest. Use your imagination. Got our magnetic ring adapter.
to go with our Yocan Uni Pro battery. Um, in this case, this is the blue mod. I've got the blue and the red. Um, three volt setting here on this because the lower the better for the herb, you heard me. Um, we're gonna do a little preheat. Preheat cycle. There we go. Ding, the microwave dinner is ready and I'm about to try it out for the first time here, this uh, mango kush. Let's get in it. Let's get into huffing and less puffing, bro, or more puff and less huffing. How about that? It would help if the fucking uh, atomizer was connected to the battery. Psych, I was just testing your ass to see if you would catch that. Good job. Let's try that one more again. Uh, let's let's redo that preheat cycle too, man, because I think I done fucked up. All right, there we go. Pre preheating. Twelve hours later, the cart is preheated, and the dude's about to finally hit this. Quit fucking playing games, dude. Y'all are out there like, dude, why are you fucking playing games, dog? I'm waiting to see how this mango kush hits, and you're fucking bullshitting, man what I do bro mm-hmm definitely hitting that getting a little bit of taste of that mango What is going on here? Hold on a second. Make sure this thing is on here good. I'm definitely gonna have to edit this shit, man, because my done. I don't know what the fuck I done did. I ain't got time to bullshit. You know what I'm saying, man? We're gonna get the red battery. I'll figure the fucking blue battery out later. Boom. Same thing, three volts, only this motherfucker is red, red for success, because I don't know what the fuck is up with that. Um, one last preheat here. Sorry, Holmes's homies. Stay tuned, by the way. Sesh upcoming later this evening, more than likely, unless something changes. Boom. All right, let's try this one more again. Maybe we needed to go red, red for, for victory, red. Red for let's run around in circles because this motherfucking mango kush hybrid is about to hit. It's about to smack, son. Um, this is indica leaning, so we're gonna find, we're gonna fuck around, we're gonna find out. Finally, let's try it out. Justice for Mango Kush is all I can say. And goddamn, it was worth the wait. Score, man. I got my Aldi hazelnut, Boya, zero sugar French vanilla creamer. <coughs> I was trying not to fucking cough, man. <coughs> <coughs> Fuck. <coughs> mm. This one hitting a little harder, man, than the cotton candy was. A little more, a little stronger, a little more, uh, little harsher maybe I just hit it too hard I would like to think it's my little baby fucking little fucking frog lungs and shit I wish I could breathe underwater god damn it ok 
Okay, man. Mm hmm. That mango kush, man. Alright. Alright. Just get a little bit more of an impression here. Alright, man. Alright, shit. Pleasantly fucking surprised. The mango kush, man. Um, I don't even need to talk about the packaging anymore. Two thumbs up. Um, the flavor, this this has a, a, it does have a true mango flavor. Um, it's not like on the super fruity, like candy side of the Saucy THC Diamonds type flavors. Um, it's not down there with the earthiness and the organic type uh, essence of the Infinity, most of the Infinity line um, that I've tried. Uh, okay, definitely been a minute since I've had a THC O-Cart. Definitely, definitely feeling some of the effects. Good flavor. One thing, and somebody asked me about the about the the flower, and I don't know that much about the the herb flower, like as far as the THCO, the THCA. I know what the different types of are supposed to do of THC, but here's the thing. Um, here's here's my general consensus with herb. It's more about the strain and the effects of the strain and the flavor when it comes down to herb as far as um allow me to explain all right so with the farm bill it can only be a certain amount like 0.3 or whatever percent thc so so whatever and, you, and the, that's where your coa comes into play and i'm not your fucking mom bro read the coa <laughs> shit i'm just trying to explain as far as like getting faded um, you're gonna get faded whichever cart you buy from Herb, okay? That's Garen fucking teed, all right? That's promised land right there. That is no, no reservations needed for that. You're guaranteed, man, to have a good, get your money's worth. Not only get your money's worth, but, but get, get a good little, more than one little session out of it. Quite a few, man. Like the average consumer can make a, a, a Herb cart, 2.2 gram Herb cart, probably last a good two or three weeks. Me, maybe a week, a week and a half. It just depends on your intensity. So, that being said, um, the THCO, THCA, you know, yeah, uh, the THCA when when exposed to heat is more strong. Blah blah blah. But it all boils down to what 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 amount of all this stuff is are in these products. It's going to vary um, the type of THC. So, so when I what I what I mean by that is I wouldn't really be uh, I wouldn't hinge on the percentage of what's in it. I would rather, I would hinge my decision on, on what herb cart to buy based on what strain you like, what kind of strain effects you like, because those are true, like the hybrid, the indica, the sativa, they're, they're pretty true. The effects from the strain, now the intensity from the THC percentages is a different story, so I would, I would not recommend one line in particular, although I will say the THCA Saucy Diamond, Saucy THC Diamond carts, the Strawberry Gusher got me fuck up. So there is that. But scientifically, can't go wrong with herb, man. I can't do no fucking bleakers, man. Mm. Man, so so let me say, man, say you're at the country club having a fucking Arnold Palmer. I can't fucking ever say that right. The fucking half tea, half lemonade fucking shit. Let's just say fucking Arizona. Fuck, fuck Arnold Palmer, all right? Arizona, motherfucker. You chilling at the country club. Ah, drinking your Arizona tea. Your homie across the way, man, you don't really drink alcohol. You kind of keep it straight with that, man. Your homies are drinking some Mick Ultras and some fucking margaritas and shit. You're chilling, bro. So you're at, you're outside on the deck. 
you bust out your yo can mod and the guys are like yo dude what's that and you're like oh it's nothing man just carry on don't mind me brothers and you hit that mango kush son and you transform the whole fucking laboratory man the whole deck into just cool chill dudes man I mean, that's so fucking exaggerated, but I'm just saying, man, I got an active imagination. But anyway. Hey, love Mango Kush. I love it, man. It's good, man. Good shit. Mango Kush. Two thumbs up. This, um, the flavor, you know, you know the dude, man. I'm, I'm, I'm with the, depending on what strain I'm using, the strain for hybrid, man, you could go either way. This is Indica Leaning, so I would use it more for for a late night sesh or some pain management or the country club chilling after a nice on the on the 19th hole bro after a nice fucking round of golf or man you just chilling at home uh mama just made some DiGiorno stuffed crust you know what i'm saying it's fucking payday you got the fucking you got the sausage fuck that cheese bro you got the you got meat on that motherfucker because you got paid bro the ebt fucking dropped on fucking whatever day it drops you fucking you got your herb and you got your fucking DiGiorno, bro, and some fucking Capri Sun, because you know that shit's probably covered right. If not, you got some fucking water. Bust out that mango kush, bro. Life is complete, son. It don't matter where you're at. You see what I mean? So whether you're on the beach in Bali or in the trailer park writing the next big song, AKA Eminem or whoever, bro. Fucking Dutch Gravy, man. Whatever your new name is, bro. I see you out there grinding, bro. And I love you for that, man. And I love Mango Kush. Er, THC O Delta 9 lineup, son. Subscribe to my channel, bro. If you like what you see, subscribe, man. Subscribe to the content, man. Seriously, I appreciate the fuck out of everyone, man. On God, as my homie says. Um, keep fighting the good fight. Man, tell people about this shit. Get, help, help your boy get some subscribers, man. My ghost peppers are almost ready. 100 subscribers, bro. Ghost pepper during the sesh. And then we'll blink all the fucking whatever carts we have. I'm running out of fucking carts, but shit, man. Until the next review, got one more cart left in the lineup for this round until I order some more. Um, if you want to send me something, let me know, and I'll try it out. If it, within, okay, within the bounds of all legal, you know, checks and balances. Don't do dumb shit. Don't do what I do. It's your boy, man. It's your boy, the dude, man. And I'm so fucking happy, man, for you, you that you're going to have a good night. And I'm happy for this mango kush because it's about to get me where I need to be, son. On this chill-ass motherfucking Friday evening at the fucking lounge of the dude, the forthcoming. This is a little pre-sesh. And I will talk to you soon, man. And I love you. Booyah.